right. Let's go. Let's go. Voice of Harlem in the building. Miss Walker's in the building. Let's go. Let's go. My man Jim is in the building. Wife is in the building. Let's go. One time live. Swig is in the building. Miss is in the building. Fantastic. Yeah. What do you have? Do you have anything coming up? What's happening with you? Tell us a little. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm in New Jersey next week, uh, uh, February 16th. It's a disco event uh, somewhere in Mid Jersey. There, you know. I do mostly private events now. Valentine's is coming up. Do you do anything oh. for Valentine's? Do you do anything at all? Matter of fact, I am. I'll be yeah. at the Eastwood Manor in the Bronx. Okay. That's on ba uh, Boston Road in Eastchester. Uh, from 7 to midnight, uh, uh, Mr. Mac is having his annual Valentine's Day. It's all-inclusive, $80, but you get open bar all night uh, and uh, all that you can eat. Where can people find the DJ Tall Guy? Is it on uh, social media? Absolutely. Everything at DJ Tall Guy. And uh, my website is djtallguy.net, not .com. And then you can sign the mailing list and you'll always be in the loop. You want to give a shout out to anybody? Yes, I'd like to shout out to uh, Believe in Yourself video and also to DJ Mario TV. And I want to give a shout out to you. Oh, thank you. I want to give a shout out to you because one thing I can say about DJ Paul Guy, he's consistent. He's always been the same stand up dude for as long as I know him and I appreciate you. Thank you, I thank appreciate you, very you very as much. well. Thank you. We just need the gigs to come our way. Right, yes. DJ Tall Guy? Absolutely. DJ Tall Guy, yes. what inspires you to do what you do? My love for the music and to see people out there enjoying themselves. So when did you know that you love music as much as you do? When did you discover uh, your passion for music? At the age of 12. Really? What happened was I used to fool around with my mother's 45 records and she was always like, leave my records alone, boy. And now she's very proud of me to see that my accomplishments of me fulfilling my dream for becoming a, a WBLS master mixer. Uh, and I'm in the same group of Frankie Crocker, uh, Vaughn Harper, you know, all these legends. It was always a dream of mine to become a master mixer. And thanks to God and hard work, I was able to achieve my dream. So let me ask you a question. If you didn't have your music, which is your love and your passion, what would you be doing? What do you, what would you, where would you really focus your energy? That's a very good question. Because I never pondered that because all I know and love is DJing and playing sports and basketball and Mario attests that my days are numbered for that, you know. I'm not able to play as much as I would like to, but I still try. But it's always been basketball and DJing for me, so. You know, yeah. a lot of men today, what they're doing, they, they have, they're reinventing themselves. And a lot of guys, what they're doing, they're learning to cook, they're learning all these different trades. Is there anything that you ever thought about that you would think of doing if the music didn't work anymore or everything else? Yeah. Yes, I think I will uh, focus on learning to relax and sit back and watch TV okay. and do a whole lot of nothing. Who inspired you? You said you started at the age of 12, but did you, is there a, is there a, let me just say, you know, people have people, for me, my inspiration was my dad. I thought my dad was better than ice cream because I thought he was brilliant and he had an answer for everything. As a matter of fact, believe in yourself comes from my dad. He always told me that. So my dad is my idol. Is there anybody that you can say, well, because of this person, I feel that my life is this or that way? Yes, yes, there are two people. One of them, uh, DJ Hollywood okay. from Club 371 and also DJ Reggie Wells. Okay. Because I used to hang out there back in the day and I was a wannabe DJ. And to be mentioned in the same conversation of those guys, it's an honor. And they really inspire me to do what I do. And it's just great to be relevant at, from doing this since 1979 and still be in the game and loving what I do and doing what I love. I want to give a shout out 
out to DJ Hollywood because he was in a hospital. Yes. Godspeed to you, Hollywood. May you have a, a rapid recovery. And I'm looking forward to hearing you perform again real soon. Is there anything in your life that you would want to change? Mm, well, to be honest with you, well, uh, if I could have rewind the clock, I would just be more kind to people. I mean, right now I'm in a good place, but there, there was a time, you know, in my life where uh, I guess I had like a bad attitude, you could say, you know, and uh, but I uh, checked myself before I wrecked myself, so. You know what I love about you? What's that? You, and as much as all that you're doing, you're in touch with your spiritual self. And I love that because you were very vulnerable a couple weeks ago where you showed that side of yourself when gospel music, when you put together a gospel, gospel CD and, you know, the love, the, the love of, of, you know, the world. Yes, it kind of brought me to tears and I wanted everyone to see that, to let people know that it's okay for a man to cry and show emotion. You know, it's no shame to that. And that I hope everybody has something or something going on in their life that they feel, you know, compelled to uh, show emotion and let the tears roll. They say, you know, men cry in the dark. And men go outside and cry in the rain so no one sees them crying because of the raindrops behind the teardrops. In the words of the temptations. <laughs> on that note, let's just say it's okay to show your humanness. It is. On three. One, two, three. It's you and I together. Okay. You know, it's okay to show your humanness. Okay, gotcha. One, two, three. It's, it's okay, okay to, to show, show your humanness. Peace. Thank okay, you. thank you. <laughs> Everybody, let's shake it.